first thing leaders can do to set the expectation for lifelong learning is to say the four scary words. I do not know. I make my audiences say it with me because leaders are taught to sort of be the unquestioned experts who can make mm-hmm. the difference in certainty. And the reality is most leaders are leading teams full of people who have skills and knowledge that they don't. Entering environments of rising uncertainty and persistent ambiguity, where you're going to have to make decisions and pick directions without having perfect information. And you have mm-hmm. to move from a reliance on your own individual intelligence to a, a, an effort to harness collective intelligence. So if the leader is doing that, they are signaling that they themselves are in a state of constant learning. The whole point of all of them, the reason why I love getting up and having the chance to share with a group like y'all is because then I don't want people walking away from this thinking, wow, you know, that guy had really a crazy life or he's had great stories. If I haven't done my job, I haven't done it. My, the whole goal is for when people walk away, they should be really looking to turn like, man, what can I do? 